Hello, I'm John Proxy live and on channel John the West I'm having a world of Final Fantasy adventure and um look look at that place there isn't all shiny let's bring no, I like the cacti um because I lost I've changed my grip to have echo instead um, between episodes because I had to load from a little bit earlier so I thought you know what I've changed my mind so this is chapter Seven. Seven. Oh, there you go. The Thane and the Knave. Ooh. My green screen's being a bit annoying, isn't it? That's probably a bit better. Yay, we're at the harbour, but it's locked down. Look at the chains. Welcome to Saronia. Yay. Thank you for your help. I'm going to go see my uncle now. Take care. I will. What is it? I just noticed the whole of the town seems to have a threshold around it. Better not die in this town, huh? then. does that mean there's a powerful mirage here in Saronia? I believe Very it does. Close. Keep an eye open. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? I thought you'd gotten kind of quiet. It's so cold! I thought it would be warmer in this town, but it isn't. Not at all. <laughs> uh, what I step on? <laughs> oh, it's a Kate. It's a Kate Sith. <laughs> oh, it's a cat. You're such a weirdo. Why are you apologizing to a cat? But you should have seen the look on its face. It scared the honk out of me. Oh, I apparently have viewers. Hello, viewers. Around and try to learn more about the place. I assume it's people I know. I'm gonna have to log in, just in case. Uh, I wanted to talk to people though. I used to think that the Federation were a pretty scary lot. But look at how much they're doing for us. All you have to do is work towards becoming an architect, and they'll give you everything you need to get by. It's I wouldn't great. trust them. Now I wish we'd gone and joined the mages ago. Right. Uh, I'm gonna have to quickly. Oh, there's a mission. I'm going to have to go to my computer to make sure I see any comments that come up, if any come up. Believe it? If we raise our civic rank, we can spend the rest of our lives in a castle, wanting for nothing. I've got to get cracking on my own rank if I want to be an architect. That's creepy. I thought there was a quest there. Can you believe it? Alright, never mind. Are you? Are you? It's Not you. The Federation is feeding us are far too good to be true. There's no way they aren't lying to us. Um, I think she needs to be back, yeah. No, actually, we can both be back. I think I'll find out soon enough. You're kidding me? You actually crossed Icicle Ridge to make it here? That's completely insane! Yeah! I like your style! Impress that guy. Civic rank. I'm looking for the group of S. Two shakes. Why is there someone swearing in this game that's been unswornified? To the slums if you don't try to raise it. Choice. Head down this way and you'll find the slums where the derelicts live. Although I'd avoid setting foot in there if I were you. Well, you're not me, mate. Right. Um. Yes. This is quite a big place. Let's go to the slums! Into the shanty town. That's not slums. That's different. That's a shanty town. Whoa! What happened at this place? I know. How can it be so different from the next road over? If someone isn't able to raise their civic rank high enough, the Federation brands them a derelict and sends them to the slums where they're forgotten. I heard they're doing that thing in China. I'm not even kidding. I've heard they're doing something like that in China. The moment Saronia joined the Federation, things around here took a turn. <laughs> I love that that person has that voice. They ain't possibly be thinking. Oh, hang on. How do I turn my sound up? Ooh, ooh, stuff happened. You know, from the sound of it, they must have joined up with the Federation pretty recently. I think now I'm starting to see what Princess Sarah meant. 
well, for now, why don't we see if we can go talk to that Thane guy about the League of S? That seems like it could I'm be foolish. I'm probably wasting my breath, but try to watch what you say around here. Yeah, watch your mouth. Sure. Looks like the Thane's manor is at the very tip of the top of the town. Let's move it the out. I hate you, Tama. Oh, yeah, I do recognize this song. Um, have a word with that Thane guy. I'll try up here. Even though I blatantly couldn't get in there. Ah! Right, let's drink it with two while cuts in. You to scram, kid. Will you just listen to what I have to say? When you just joined it, doesn't mean you have to turn to bastards. What's yeah, you're not very on? fast. They giving you trouble? I already told them that the Thane is my uncle. I'm not allowed to talk to my own flesh and blood now? I don't care who you're supposed to be, because you ain't seeing him. Dude, what? Well, you see, sir, we are here to meet the Thane on behalf of Princess Sarah of Cornelia. Have a look for yourselves. That's the Cornelian seal. Hard now? I expected better from you, considering you're practically our neighbors. Oh, you're not good. Tell him, Rain. Cornelia's got giants for emissaries? They got some kind of royal Cornelia thing with them. What? You sure? Beats me. You gonna send them packing and take the risk? Wait here. I'll go check with this thing ship. Is it gonna be Sid? The says he'll see you. Let's go, Rethia. Huh? Oh, we're going through several stays here. Refi is part of our entourage. That's right. She just anteceded us. What? Toodaloo. Thank you guys. You're always there for me. No big deal. Yeah. <laughs> just this afternoon. It wasn't a lie. We were all heading in more or less the same direction. Right. Yeah, so I'm guessing somebody's uncle, a king of the neighboring town, Sid, maybe, maybe Sid, maybe Sid. Is it Sid? Possibly Sid. You must be the giant emissaries from Cornelia. Oh, uh, yes. We're here to... I hear the Federation finally gave up and just invaded them. It could still but be Sid. Me the invasion <laughs> failed. Hmm? Are you here to ask for my help? Yes, they did try to invade, but for the moment... Who are you? Hmm? Ah. Why, Refia? Is that you? Who? <laughs> you my dear please it's me your uncle no you are not uncle taka not said then Wait, okay fair sorry enough. what it's an imposter <laughs> then i was right if you've managed to see through this facade then there's no mistake you are a medium well duh. Yes. i was wise to, to make sure you left town and to ensure that you never returned where's uncle taka why he's standing right in front of you Make no mistake, little girl. This is your uncle. What are you I don't remember, Raphia. Um, this must be an act of fate. The I love... From the hills I'll, here. I'll talk after. A champion's medium. <gasps> and not just any medium. One that bleeds the same blood as this body. Ooh, a body snatcher. <laughs> it's more than fate. It has to be destiny. How can I not rise to it? Apparently those two aren't interchangeable. He's the one who put up the threshold here. Right. Let's kill the body snatcher. Uh, this is not my B-18. So, is he a Bahamutian soldier? Well, he's nothing like the ones we fought so far. Be careful. Okay, um, double attack. Very nice. Uh, 1,000 needles. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, you know what? It's just... No, nope, can't. Let's try Poison Bite. He just did very loads of damage. Oh, bravery. Stack. Quickly. That's still... 
Uh, let's use a potion. My training stack. Uh, um, 1,000 needles. Cure. Right, um, 1,000 medals. Double. Oh, crap, I should leave her. Don't like this venom lance. I got this. Right. Uh. Right, no weaknesses. Thousand medals. Uh, double attack. Definitely need to heal. Cure. What I hate. Oh, bloody hell, Town Breaker's really strong. Um. Yeah, uh, it's been a while since I've saved. Uh, abilities. Stack. Uh, potion on that. Okay, um... Horn. Um, double attack. Do you like this? We just uh, thunder. We just have to throw everything we've got because we're not going to survive it. Come on! Oh, that was close. Right, that was not my A team. And unfortunately, Overlord could have done with that. Never mind. That was a lot easier than the Wolves, though, considering. Oh, he's become extra large. Show me. Ooh, is that Refia? Sir Spartacus, what? Why are you? Ooh, knight in the golden mask. You are a fool to so much as inquire. An imbecile beyond belief to let a medium to champion on fire. Uh, okay. That's not good. Away from death. Away from life, they stay. Contain them all. Yeah, it's the cat! <laughs> huh? Isn't that the same? Well, are you guys coming or not? <laughs> Go, cat! Uh, okay! Right. Uh, for your life. Not now, Tyler. So yeah, why did you kill the soldier, mate? <laughs> the gods would caution us. Is this a sign that we'll not go unchallenged? That there's no way to know the pieces are alive? <laughs> Some job satisfaction. Hmm.
Yeah, I was expecting a cooldown period. That was too close. Shalada, thank you. Huh? huh? I just knew you would get yourselves in ah. trouble. And boy, did you prove me right. Ah, what do you call that creepy trick? You're the creepy one here. Unbelievable. <sighs> would you just put these on? Then take another look at the town. What the honk? It's huh? chained. Is that coming out of the sky? Let the me! I want to have a the turn! What? Hey, it's serious. Rebia, you should have a look too! How do you explain this? Don't expect any help from me on that one. After all, not even the visitor who left those monocles at my inn could tell me exactly what it's showing us or how. Who is the visitor? I was told. Every member state in the Federation is trussed up like this. So, I thought I'd bring the lenses here, but maybe I didn't have to. The Thane was visibly crazy. What in Grimoire is going on? <sighs> okay, guess we'll file that one under No One Knows. Indeed. So, what do we do? We came here to ask about the League of S, but all we found was a lot more questions. Sorry, did you say the League of S? League of S! That's right. So he found it immediately and accidentally walked away from it. Oh, if that's all it is, then maybe I can help you out. You can? Oh, sure. I know a few people right here in Seronia who should be able to get in touch with the League. I'll ask them to pass on your message. Do you mean it? Thank you! Yay! Mr. has been around a lot longer than she looks, so she knows tons of people. Isn't that great? Don't you talk about my age. <laughs> So, like, what's with you and the catamorphosis? That is a very long story that I don't feel like telling. But I will say this. Cats get around. Huh? Yep. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yep. So, the real question is, what are you two planning to bite off next? We've still got a lot to puzzle over. But now that the League of S thing is settled, League of S. I think we'd better resume our quest to find mirages. Yeah. Plus, we've got that castle. And Mom to track down along the way, too. Sounds pretty good to me. From here, the best place to go next would have to be the low seas. In which case, you basically have no choice but to find a boat down at the docks. I guess this is the last town on the continent. Okay, then. We'll figure something out. So what about you two? Are you coming back to the Solace, Refia? The wolves have been taken care of now. Yeah, I so killed them. So the only him. thing to fight off is the cold. Sure. I need some time to digest this business with Uncle Taka. The Solace sounds great. If you'll have me. Of course I will. Well, you two, thank you so much for everything. Best of luck in all your adventures. Thanks. Take care. Hey, Sherlotta. Thanks for stepping in to help. Sure. Yeah, you couldn't have helped me join that wolf Speaking or anything. Of stepping in, I don't suppose you were planning to make it up to me for trouncing on my tail. <gasps> oh, so that really was you. Gosh, I was kind of hoping you'd forget. Magic monocles. Refuse champion medal has been unlocked. You can purchase it from the girl who forgot her name. Yes, I do want to save my progress. Is that going to be a really short chapter? We'll find out. I mean, I did fight a boss. Right. The moment Seronia joined the Federation, things around here took a turn for the worse. What could the Thane possibly be thinking? Grimoire is full of all kinds of weird mirages. Some even disguise themselves as treasure chests. They say that once you run into one of those nasties, there's no way to escape. Yes, I believe they're called Mimics. Cold Fan Issue 2, right. Let's have a look at my items. Get some more Phoenix Downs. Right, so Cold Fan Issue 2. Today we'll be looking at so-called treasure ship whose phantom-like appearance has been causing bedlam in the port town of Seronia. A cold fan has obtained exclusive info revealing the ship is decked out in jewels and speaking of decks, this galleon's gangways are said to be overflowing with treasure. 
Well, there was only one way to find out if this fairy tale was full of fairy tale, and if we shoved off in search of the truth. But here was the funny thing. A local fisherman claimed no one has ever seen the ship out, of the, out on the water. Then where was it seen, we asked incisively. Uh, well, here's the scoop. Whenever the treasure ship needs repairs or improvements, it docks at a dungeon-like harbour. Everyone who has seen it has reported hearing chimes. Some have tried forcing an encounter by ringing a series of bells, but the ship does not respond. After thanking the fisherman for his rever revelatory, revelatory contribution, we decided to get our quanchos in a row. Uh, I guess quancho is a duck. Um, uh, what have we learned? First, there's a clear connection between the chimes and the ship's appearance, but random bang bell ringing wasn't cutting it. And speaking of cutting, that was when my travel companion Wedge cut in. Maybe you have to ring them in the right order. Great goblins! What if he was right? That would explain why the ship hadn't come. No one knew the right order. If the person charming the ship home lived somewhere in Seronia, then it was possible the port town was hiding some sort of vital clue. We resumed our investigation with new vigour. Porting by Biggs. Also, I've got some magic monocles. All I want is to be able to live my own life. Is it so wrong for me to seek my own path and not strive to become an architect? Nope. Everyone tells me I should strive to become an architect. Right, I don't like that the game locks me in position when I talk to people like that. So, let's go back to the heart. Right, so I decided to cut in here with a bit that I record later. Uh, because, you know, I, it was a 20 minute episode, right? So I may as well just do some stuff here. So, um, what am I doing here? I'm just sort of having a look around. Uh, to a girl's tea room, specifically, I want to go. Um, but yes. So I'll probably awkwardly cut this bit in, but... Hello. Hello. What now? Uh, I want to trade in some armor gems. Would you like to awaken? Well, well, I've only got a ref here, but it cost me two, and I've got six. Lovely. Yay! There we go. What now? Well, I want to see if you've got anything to intervene with. So will you touch? I don't know yet. Probably refies. Right. So we've got the ice bridge. But uh, Refia returns to Shalotta's Solace for some well-needed R&R after Seronia. She gets to thinking about how the dangerous passage across the ice is and decides to look for a way to create a safe route through. After take, talking with Shalotta, the two of them head to the Nether Nebula. That cost me two. Or Never Cross the Boss. Shalotta and Refia are out and about among the ice, searching for a mirage that's been causing trouble. But a figure looming in the snow is... Yeah, well, okay, let's try one of these as well. What now? Ah, no. I, will, I will do, but I'm going to come back to that because it's a good way to end the episode, I think. What now? Get up. See you. Uh, oh, yes, I've got a new championship medal. Let's check that out. So, it's Refia. She costs one as well. And restore HP and remove status elements. Oh, that's going to be useful. Right, uh, let's save my game. Right, there we go. Uh, what am I doing? Right, I just want to check out North Promenade, see if anything's changed. Again, it's these seeds that are going to be really useful. Like a balance seed. Ah, or even more cure seeds, but... Or possibly a phoenix down. Let's buy one potion at the very least. Being a bit stingy, I appreciate I do have 5,000 gold. Oh. Uh... Hmm...
Yeah, okay, I'll leave it for the time being. They might come in handy though, so I'll leave. Shokoboko bye now! Indeed. Um Let's go to the bedroom. Uh wanna see who Refio is. So not that one. Who's who? So there is the knight in the golden mask. So he's got a mask like his face, no discernible torso, hints of iambic pent pentameter. I did not notice that. I'm going to have to pay attention to that now. Uh, if you don't know what iambic pentameter is, it's um, Shakespeare likes to write in it. It is a ten syllable sentence uh, with emphasis on every second word to be or not. To be, that is, the question. Uh, and yes, um, the shun on the end of that is to deliberately break that rule. Uh, uh, where, uh, yeah. Whether tis no... Uh, but, uh, yeah, so he talks like that. I, um, I'm not going to do the entire of Hamlet's soliloquy. Uh, I don't know it for a start. Um, so, girl who forgot her name. So, uh, she uh, is a guardian of, of a large clock. The colour white, butterflies, tea, a young girl, seriously does not, in fact, remember her name. Um, this is new? Where are the other warriors? Okay. In Grimoire, it was a nameless soldier who awakened as the Warrior of Light. But the Warriors of Light take many forms in many worlds. Perhaps you know a few yourself. Perhaps those other warriors may set foot in Grimoire one day, if they have not already. So, here's Raffia. So, she's from Final Fantasy III, in the remake. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, wields healing magic, gentle and kind. Daughter of Saronia. Raffia was chased out of house and home by her only living re relative, her uncle Taka. Given no reason for her e exile, she did her best to keep her spirits up and forgets her troubles. However, she... Uh, when she saw the woes of the people of Saronia faced as the Federation state, she could remain silent no longer. Ignoring the danger, she left to give her uncle a piece of her mind, but it was already too late. This is Charlotta, and she's from Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Echoes of Time. I'm not going to be able to recognise any of these people. Uh, she's... Uh, she's much older than she looks. Um, well, she's apparently really old. Uh, calm and composed due to age and experience. Has a menacing sh streak. Zero patience for foolishness. And runs an inn. But why? She's a kitty! Wait, she can turn into a feline? In her own words, cats get around. Not the clearest answer, but it's all you're going to get. Interesting fact, Charlotta originally thought Re as Refia of nothing more than a stray cat that she brought in from the cold. It's probably for the best Refia never caught on. So... Oh, look, there's the Thane of Saronia. So, 45. Thane of Saronia. Uh, so, he's in Final Fantasy III as Taka uh, in the remake. Uh, Ruffy's uncle, Bahamushan soldier. Fate, destiny, crumbling cookies, etc. Uh, obsessed with being a part of something bigger. Sentient soldier. Ruffy's uncle Taka was merely a, the guise for Bahamushan soldier. But not just any soldier. Unlike the other Bahamushan grunts Lan and Rain have encountered, this one was capable of thought, speech, and self-determination. No wonder Sigward, Sigwardes entrusted him with the entire nation in the Federation. Right. And then lots of blanks. Oh, no, we've got Master Tombery. So... Um, the fog surrounding the Colosseum connects it to other worlds, specifically a set of divergent possible histories that have manifested as parable, uh, par parallel worlds. Uh, those other worlds have other Colosseums run by other Tomberies, who all work together in a, to arrange contests of sport across what we'll call the Interspace for now. Neat. Uh, Princess Goblin. Um... She's a goblin ruler, helm horns that moves as she emotes, and she's inexplicably excited all the time. 
Uh, always fired up. The feisty young lass is quick to develop crushes and even quicker to get the wrong idea. The one thing she isn't quick about is settling the honk down. Tenacious, she insists on getting on what she wants and getting in the last word. In short, what a handful. Still, goblins can be a reasonable bunch and it seems that deep down the princess has a good heart. Um, perhaps that's why she, why the Federation was able to take advantage of her and her kin. She's from this game. Right. 32% complete. Who's who? That was just what I was reading. Uh, right. I'm going to go to the North Promenade again. Check out the Colosseum. How much time have I spent? Eight minutes. Yeah, got loads of time. Going to the Colosseum. Yes. This way. Now, I don't think I'm going to be strong enough yet, but I'll have a look. Yes. Level 14. Oh, hang on. They're not in order. That's 14 as well. Now... And that's a good way to get another pure seed. But I'm not quite f level 14 oh, yet. Wow. I would want my entire team... Ah, uh, Tamar is. Uh, see, they're 15. Um, hmm. Well, you, you know what I would like? Is alternative setups. So I can just swap between different... I mean, look, the space would be nice to have different stat, you know. Because I'm trying to chain up Overlord and Zero, but all I... That's a level uh, 13 crew, and that's... I'm close. I'm close to be able to do this, but... Alright, let's give it a go, fine. It just means I have to change my stack, which is really annoying. So... No, let's keep lime. It's just that stack that I have to change, and just echo, really. Right, let's save my game and give it a go. Right. Tell me what you So yes, forest fauna. Yes. Let's begin. Let's go. Come on. I want to bring five people with me, but never mind. I want to knock them down as well. So I'm thinking Death Beak. And Tickle. Right, I'm going to cure Lansac and tickle again. And another death peak. Not done yet. I don't mind. Um Miss Right, I want right claw on that moo. And I want uh, fire. No, not fire, damn it. 
Uh, death Break to Balafor, I guess. And then Right Claw to that Cockatrice. Damn. Bit rubbish. Right. I'm gonna cure. Um, that stack, and then I'm gonna work on tickling down that other Valapor stack. Okay. This is it. Uh, I'm gonna do another cure on land, and another tickle the stack. Okay. Cure rain stack. Hey. Oh damn! There we go. Uh. Nope. Let's just attack that stack. Uh, no. Stack. Attack the stack. Ah, oh, damn. All right, items. Phoenix down. Phoenix down, damn it! What happened to the Phoenix down that I wanted to do? Stack. Potion on land stack. Um. Damn, I was quite close there, wasn't I? Um, tickle on Valafor stack. I'm close, I'm close. Uh, well, that's that. I don't know if I lose my items or not. Uh, once fight is over, those values will return to you to what they were before the match. What about items? I think I should load my game. Get my items back. How the hell do I load my game? Ah. Right, I'm just... I wanna... Yes, I'm gonna have to go out into the field and then load my game. Which is annoying, but never mind. Because I may as well get those Phoenix down that back. Hang on, which I probably could have done that any time. It's in the pause menu. Right. Hopefully my World of Final Fantasy. Uh, hopefully my setup is the old one and not the new one. Or that. Yeah, it's fine. No, it isn't. Um, 
trying to train up. No, not you. Although it could be useful. Zero. No. Oh, maybe it was the goblin. No, it was Echo. There we go. Right. Now, let's go back into the two room. And try that fight again. So really, I should have a better setup team. But whatever, I'm just going to go in with a crappy one. Save my game just in case. Like so. I'm taking. What now? Let's intervene. If I've got enough gems, yeah, I can, I've got enough gems to do both of them. Solid frigisite or something and a holy torch. Let's try the ice bridge then. <sighs> I guess there's no point in me dwelling on it now. Seriously? Getting to town and back is a real pain in the neck. Maybe with some magic. I wonder if I could just build an ice bridge right here. Oh yeah, I guess I don't know how to use uh, blizzard magic. <laughs> well, that was quick. Build a bridge? Uh, I suppose that it would ease the journey to town, but ice sounds like a recipe for a broken neck. You might have a point there. Hmm, a bridge of ice. Oh, now hold on. I've heard of a mirage who might be able to make us exactly what we're looking for. That would be great! Oh, Shiva. I think her name was Shiva. She's said to live somewhere in Cornelia. I've already tweeted Shiva once. Hmm. It, wait a second. If we build a bridge that leads right to town, then who's going to stay at the Solace anymore? Hmm. I certainly can't have that. Uh, hey, Revia! We weren't done talking this over yet! I didn't know she has a tail. Good grief. How'd I let you talk me into coming along? That's funny. I thought I told you I could handle it myself. Hey! Where's Shiva? Get out here on the double so we can discuss some business! Yeah! I'm oh, sorry, I made it! <laughs> you want me to come to you? How about I turn you to ice and hang you up on my wall? Ugh. No, thank you. Unless you're hiding some handsome men, then I'm done with you now. Goodbye. We never said we're done with you. Uh, so, we were hoping to ask for a favor. A favor? Hmm. A bridge of ice? Yes, we heard that you were a specialist of sorts. You must be mistaken. I'm not the one who does the ice bridge trick. Oh, out of your league? Well, we won't waste our time with second tier mirages. You ready to go, Raffia? Huh? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, just a minute. When did I say that I can't do it? I heard what you said. But bridges are the other Shiva's job. <sighs> if you're too small time, then just say so. I do not talk like that at all. Hmm? And you dare to call me small time? You wretched human! Everyone calm down! Come on now, you're the great Shiva. Maybe you ought to keep your cool. Go on, just build the bridge for him. Oh, and for us too. Wait, what? <laughs> when did you two show up? What's going on? I guess you might say that we're kind of sort of tagging in. You want that doesn't even begin to make any sense. Right. Don't expect any mercy from me! This time I'll show you I'm not whatever it is you thought I was. Are you still hung up on what you said in the nebula? <laughs> no, Mom, remember? I guess it did traumatize him. 
He'll always the wonder what we were talking about. <laughs> I'll get over it. Someday. <laughs> right, don't like being sent to sleep. Though it's not particularly dangerous. Getting annoying. Yeah, I gave all my fire things away before Shiva fight. I do want to check out the other one, but what a lot of damage would be useful right here. I'm glad I can pass all of this. Wonderful for my man. Oh. Oh dear. Fox fire. Right. Well, that is certainly doable. But uh, I think I'm I'm happy to leave it here for the time being. Um. So what I'll do right now is I'll cut into where I ended the episode originally. Chapter 8. Oh, damn it. Buccaneer Blues. Um, right, I'm going to let you go then. Let that be a really short episode, that's fine. Um, I've been John Foxy live and on channel John of the West, which is where you probably watch this. Uh, I've been having a world of Final Fantasy adventure. Thank you. Thank you for watching.